this is the viewport of the browser. Now I have full screen, so you can't actually see the search bar, etc. That is not the viewport. The viewport is only the part of the web browser where you see your whole website. And this is 0% of the viewport. And if we keep on going up, it's going to be 100% at the top edge of it. Now, if I scroll down, you're going to see a little image popping up here. This is actually a square. This is our trigger for the animation. And when we get to the center of that square, what's going to happen is we're going to see a phone pop up here. Now, there's also another element right over here, but the opacity is zero. So we can't actually see it. It doesn't have a background. It's its own trigger. So it's going to show up when we get to the center of it. And we're only going to see it magically pop up like so. Okay, so when we got to the middle of the square, the phone popped up. And when we got to the middle of the this whole element, it popped up. Okay, or moved into view, scrolled into view, right? So let's scroll down and let's look at one more animation here. When we keep scrolling down, we're going to see another card show up here. There we go. Just the opacity has changed. Okay, this is the bottom of this element. And this element is also the trigger. And this is about 10% is about here of our viewport. And when we scroll down, you see when it gets to that when the bottom of this element gets to 10% it disappears and then if we keep scrolling down we're gonna have some animations here but like try not looking at them just try focusing at this for now when this bottom of this element reaches 90% of the viewport which is right about here it's gonna disappear again out of view okay there we go it disappeared and if we scroll up it appears again and if we keep scrolling up it's gonna disappear again now let's see how this was done. Let's go into the canvas here. And if I scroll down, if I hit the card over here, I see I have the animation scroll into view. All right. And let's just get rid of it because we're going to be recreating it. Let's delete this one. And in the case of the content, because with, with the animation here, what we had is I just undid that deletion. This is scrolling to view. If I click in, click this animation, we see the trigger is the card, like I said, that blue image. And it, if I hit the phone, which also selects here, this is the animation part, the trigger and the animation. Now, if I have the phone selected, I can hover over start and I get the pop up and it's going to say, start the animation when the center of the trigger element reaches the bottom of the viewport. So when the center of this element, the trigger reaches the bottom of the viewport and the bottom is here. And we have 0%. That means it's the bottom. All right. So let's recreate this. Now I went out of the animation area and I don't see any animations. It's because I have the phone selected and it the animation only shows at when I have the trigger selected. So this is the trigger. Let's delete it. And with this card, it's very similar. It's very similar. Scroll into view. But this time the content itself, the trigger is the content and the content itself is what moves into view and and that uh, which opa and it also changed the opacity also changes. So let's also get rid of uh, this animation and let's scroll down and let's see the card. This is the most easiest one because it's just it just has the opacity. The card here is the trigger. You see, this is the trigger, the card, and also the animation is done on the card. So again, the uh, the opacity changes here it is. And remember, it resets. So when I went to 10%, when the bottom reached the 10%, it appeared. And when I kept going, and when it reached 90%, it disappeared again, because we had this reset turned on. But let's delete this animation too. And let's just go rebuild them. All right, so first we have this trigger, the card. Let's go, we see that it's, it's deleted here. Let's create the animation click the plus button, scroll into view. 
now we have the bottom when it reaches zero so we would need to go all the way here for this animation to show we don't want that we want it we want the center to trigger the animation and the animation was the phone right so let's click phone plus move and we want it to move 100% from 100% to 0 0 is the the initial um, position I mean 100% is going to be uh, sorry 100 pixels uh, it's going to move into the position it was in uh, at the moment of creation of creating the element so this is this is 0 and 100% is this now we want the duration to be 0 0.8 and we can also do we can also do percentages here sorry here we can do percentages when we have pick uh, the pixels we can do all these uh, we can use all these other values and for the durations we have the seconds 0 0.8 seconds and we want it to ease in and out then we also want to add the opacity opacity let's do also 0 0.8 and let's also do ease in ease out there you go let's save preview and see how that looks we're going to scroll in and when we hit the when we hit the middle the center of this the phone is going to show up there we go it worked now we took out the animation for this that's why we we keep seeing it and if I scroll down we see this card there's no animation here too because we just deleted the animation but, but if we go back I can now go to the content and I can create a separate animation for this so what that would do is what I showed you in the beginning where when you're scrolling down into the project and you hit the center of this card we see the phone pop up and then when we hit the center of this content div we're gonna see the text pop up so this text only shows up once we keep scrolling down but we can do something else what if we want both of these to get triggered at the same time when where this card is the trigger well we don't go into content to create our new animation let's get out of here first now we have to remember about doing this because this actually animation area is is from from the card and the card is right over here right this is the animation for it if I click content it's gonna look like it's the same animation but it's not it's, it's just that animation area is open so we need to get out of here to see what animation is connected to the content and there is none right because we didn't rebuild it yet and we're not gonna rebuild it here this time we're gonna make it we're gonna give it a little twist we're gonna go back to the card here and we're just gonna create another animation where the trigger is the card card is the trigger so I'm gonna hit the plus button to create a new animation for this trigger but before I do that I'm gonna click content here there we go content is selected now if I click plus we're gonna see and I click move we're gonna see that this content is now part of the same trigger this content over here right and let's go ahead and do hundred now, of course, it depends on what you want to achieve. I just wanted to show you what, what happens when you do it this way. 0 0.8, you can add a little delay. Let's go. 4. And actually, let's also add this easing in and easing out. All right, so now if I hit Preview and I scroll down to the center of this square, we're going to see the phone we're going to see we're going to then see a, a little delay and then we're going to see this text pop up here right now oh, let's let's refresh okay let's go back here let's actually add the opacity because we didn't do that so that's why we still saw the element there the opacity and also we're going to go 0. 0.8 I'm gonna leave these little errors I'm doing because this is something that you might do also and if you do it you'll know you'll see the problem here okay so we have the opacity click Save preview and now when I scroll down 
Okay, we have the blue uh, square showing up. We don't have the text yet, but the, but the trigger is the middle of the square. So we don't have to keep scrolling down for the second element to show up. We're going to scroll down, phone, and then in a while, four seconds is a little too long for that to show up. So actually, I'm going to be going to move. Let's go with, uh, I'm not going to, this should be 0 0.4, if anything. Actually, we don't need a lot of delay. Scroll down, we get the phone, and we get the text that is not showing up. It's showing up too late. Delay. Oh, there it is. 0 0.4. That's why it was showing up too late. Save. Remember to save. Preview. All right. This time, it's it's going to work. All right. We get the phone and we get the text. Okay. One trigger. We don't have to keep on scrolling down. Now, let's go back to the canvas here and let's go now turn this card. Let's, let's add some animation to this card. So we have the card selected. We see animations here, but remember, these are connected with that other card. So if I click this other card, we see it's going to highlight here, and this is this is the card this animation is for. So let's get out of here. We see that animation connected to this card. Now let's go back to this card, and we see that there are no animations because remember, I deleted it, deleted them. I'm going to hit the plus button, scroll into view. Now we're going to have the bottom of this card trigger the animation at 10%. And, and remember, zero is the bottom of the screen. This is about 10%, and this is where it's going to reveal this card. And to do that, to make that happen, we're going to add plus opacity. And again, we can have the trigger go 0 0.8 or how, however much you want. You can play around with that later. Ease in, ease out. And there we go. It's going to work. It's going to turn, it's going to show this card at 10% of the screen, of the viewport. But we also had it disappear after 90%, which is about here, right? To do that, we're going to hit Reset Animation, and we're going to end the animation when the bottom of this card hits about 90%. Okay, 90%, because 10% is going to be off screen anyway, so we're not going to see it. Let's go, let's go do 90%. All right. Hit Save preview and again the middle of this blue square image is going to trigger these two animations one two scrolling down and when this card which we can't see here because the opacity is zero when it reaches when the bottom of the card reaches 10 percent of the screen which is about here it's going to show there we go it showed right and it's going to reset if we keep on scrolling down it's going to hit about 90%, which is about here. It's going to disappear. There we go. It disappeared. And it's going to appear again if we go back. And if we keep on scrolling up at 10%, there we go. It disappears. All right. Hope that was helpful. Hope you like this video. And I will see you in the next one.